Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with our last break of 2019 Bowman Sterling Baseball four box picker team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com A very big thank you to all of these folks right here for getting into it on a Wednesday the 11th Pick your team three we don't, we don't have any more after this In a separate video you would have seen the team randoms right there so that's why if you have a little rooftop next to your name that means you got that in a team random Kevin O, last bot mojo, picked up the Cardinals straight up. That was the last team available straight up. And as you remember from the previous break right there, I marked these number three so we know they all come from the same case. All right, good luck, everybody. Awesome, John, great. We got you. Obviously, since it's Bowman, this is very prospect heavy. So Kenton is here. Was he commented a little bit a few moments ago? He's uh, he's got the Dodgers and the Padres. He's looking for Mr. Lux, of course, Gavin Lux, and Tatis Jr., which is which is a worthy chase. Tatis Jr. I think maybe a couple injuries have derailed his Rookie of the Year campaign, but. When he's been healthy, he's been he's been looking pretty fantastic. Lux just got called up. He's a, hopefully a future star for the Dodgers. He hit his first major league home run last night, two nights ago. All right, good luck, boys and girls. I'm glad, glad Topps brought the, the Sterling back. He's on hiatus for a little bit. Good luck. Here we go. There he is, Satis Jr. Nice Keston as well. And look at this die cut. Victor, Victor Mesa. 33 out of 65 die cut autograph for DMAC and the Marlins. Big prospect for the Marlins. Marlins with their long, painful rebuild. That Yachty is to 99. And we've got Erasnel Wilson for the Braves at a 125 wave parallel for Stephen Cohen and the Bravos. There's Noel V. Marte for the M's, for the Mariners. That's going to go to Darren as well. Another one for DMAC. And there's Miguel Amaya, Speckle. 49 out of 99 for the Cubbies. That's going to go to Travis Melberg. Got the Cubs straight up. There's Colby Allard, Braves edition to 199. And there's Jordan Groshans. For the Blue Jays, uh, Travis, uh, no, I'm check that, Doug March got randomized the Blue Jays in that team random. Looking for a teammate of his. All right, second box of four. Good luck. All right, 
Next four or five mini boxes. Good luck. It's like I think all the baseball games have been accounted for. I don't know. There's there's a couple still. There's a few still in progress. The Rangers are leading the Rays ten to nine in the top of the ninth inning. They're in Texas. Pirates are up six three on the Giants in the top of the eighth. The Giants have the eighth and the ninth to try to come back. The I've got the on ESPN. We've got the Padres Cubs Padres game on right now. And the Padres have a narrow one nothing lead on the Cubs. The Cubs definitely need a win if they want to keep their postseason hopes going, right? And they're three and a half back of the Cardinals in the NL Central, but just a half game ahead of the Brew Crew in the wild card. So that's where they're battling. The Mets are behind the Brewers and the Pod or Brewers and the Cubs. Mets are two and a half back of a wild card spot. Phillies also two and a half back of a wild card spot. So the Mets I think won today. Yep, they shut out the, the Diamondbacks 9 nothing, But Philadelphia fell short. I think they were trying to come back in the bottom of the night, but they fell short. So, should be an exciting finish to the season. There's Ryan Mountcastle to 199, one of my favorite names in the hobby. And back there we got Chad Spangenberger. Another Blue Jays auto for Doug. We got the Blue Jays for a fraction of the price in that team random. I like this atomic parallel here. That's four out of ten Nick Schnell for the Tampa Bay Rays. That's going to go to Richard Z, who picked up the Rays straight up. There's Brandon Marsh for the Halos. That's going to go to Chad of the Angels in the team random. There's Justice Sheffield, 42 out of 99. And Victor Victor's brother, Victor Mesa Jr. So there's Victor Victor and Victor. That's to 150. That's another Marlin for DMAC. The third kid is Victor, Victor, Victor. I'm kidding. I don't know that, but it'd be great if it was. And there, there's his brother right there. And nice, nice Kiebert Ruiz. That's for Kenton and my Dodgers. A little Dodger Joe Mojo. He's the, uh, the other big catching prospect next to Will Smith. The Dodgers organization. A lot of people asking about him in the mid-season trading deadline. Dodgers said no. They said no. Just like Michael Corleone said no to Kay at the end of that Godfather movie. This one time, Kay. This one time, I'll let you ask me about my business. And Kay goes, is it true, Michael? Is it true? No. And that's it. That's what the Dodgers said too. <laughs> yeah, Doug. What's the what's the vector, Victor? Hey, you're Kareem Abdul Jabbar. No, I'm not. I'm Roger. Yeah, I'm an airline pilot. <laughs> I guess it was the days before the zillion dollar contracts and massive Nike and Gatorade endorsement deals. All right, 
right, next one. So the NL wild card is pretty pretty tight, folks. Looks like the Nationals, they're three games ahead of the Cubs in that first wild card spot in the NL. So it looks like they've got that. So yeah, once again, the Brewers are a half game back of the second wild card spot behind the Cubs. So Cubs want to win this game here tonight. Um, Mets and Phillies are two and a half back. And the Diamondbacks are three back. Diamondbacks and Mets playing a pretty, pretty important series here. A lot of exciting things happening, ladies and gentlemen. There's Fernando Tatis Jr., rookie card. Keston. There's Vince Fernandez autograph. And that will be for the Rocks. That goes to Josh Kanan. El Canon on the board. Harshbarger saying what? St. Louis lost two in a row? There's Altuve to 50. And there's another Keston right here to 199. Yeah, Jason Myers, Moyers, that is. Yeah, no no Yelich for the Brew Crew. So how's that going to affect them down the stretch? Trying to make a playoff spot. Julio Pablo Martinez, 2 out of 99. That goes to the Rangers. That'll be for Travis Melberg. And Travis got that spot in a team random as well. There's Matt Libitor. That's for the Rays, Richard Z with the Rays. So yeah, I mean, Cubs are only Cubs and Brewers are are still within striking distance of the Cardinals. John Harshbarger saying if they have lost two in a row, you know, it's not like they don't have an iron grip on that NL Central. That's three and a half games back for the Cubs, four back for the Brewers. That's still that's still within striking distance of winning the division, too. Nice Kevin Maiton. If you guys remember, Kevin Maiton was a big international signing for the Braves. Stephen Cohen, who has the Braves. And then, what happened? Guys got fired and guys got banned from baseball. They were trying to circumvent the international signing bonus money or something weird like that. So they had to like divest themselves of a bunch of uh, international prospects. And Kevin Maiton was a big name in one of them. Angel snapped him right up. So I'm sorry, that doesn't go to Steve Cohen. He used to be a brave. Um, Chad B has the Angels. That goes to Chad, who got the Angels in a team random. Sorry, Stephen. And we've got an atomic Ryan O'Hearn for the Royals. Nine out of ten. That's a nice low number for Brett, who's a Royals guy. And behind him, a nice orange Nick Madrigal. Another big prospect coming up the ranks for the White Sox. That's going to be for Zach Colvin. Is he a corner infielder, shortstop maybe? I don't know. White Sox could have a really strong team in like the next three to five years. You know, got young guys like him coming up, and then guys like Eloy Jimenez with more seasoning, major league seasoning. Nice 9 out of 10, Ryan O'Hearn as well. Royals going through a rebuild process. Got some guys coming up. Gotta restock that farm system. Try to get back to, to winning again. They might have a nice little formula set up. All right, final box and pick your team three. Good luck. We haven't talked to AL yet in this break. Rays are eight games behind the Yankees. Looks like they're not going to be catching up, but they have a one-game lead in the top AL wildcard spot. So that's interesting. Twins have a four-game lead on the Indians. Cleveland beat the Angels 4-3 today. So, but the, And the Twins lost. So I wonder if the Indians still feel like they're within striking distance of the AL Central. That could be interesting. The Astros are are comfortably ahead of the A's. They're uh, eight and a half games ahead of the A's in the AL West, but it's the uh, 
those second place teams, they're battling for that wild card spot. Rays are a game ahead of the A's for the top wild card spot. A's have the second wild card spot, but just a half game ahead of the tribe. So that's going to be a fight to the finish, I think. What did the A's do today? Did they play today? Yeah, Oakland beat the Astros 5-3. So, the, so they're battling. A lot of battles going on here. Cleveland Card says, what, Tribe won't survive? Indians won't survive? Yeah, I feel like they're... I think that's what my gut says, too. I feel like they're going to fall just a little short. What happened this season? I feel like... I don't know. I feel like maybe they just, just didn't do enough in the offseason. They had a good team. I guess Kluber breaking his arm didn't help. Getting that comebacker that hit him in the forearm, that didn't help. J Jason Moyer saying Astros like the Patriots of baseball? Uh, the Astros have a long way to go before they're the Patri Patriots of baseball. What's up, AJ Anderson? Astros have won one World Series, been to one, in the last couple years. Patriots, how many chips have they won in the last decade? Like six? No, Astros have a long way to go before we put them in that category. Connor Scott. A little bit of smudge right there, but Connor Scott for the Marlins. That's going to go to Darren McKenzie. Right, Kluber, oh, right, Bauer got, and then they ended up trading Bauer. Bullpen was a little rough. Carrasco had coming down with that leukemia, but so that was that was rough too. Lost Carrasco for a little for a good chunk of time. There's Nick Madrigal, and behind him is Bryce Wilson. Jason, you're a Dodgers fan, but the pitching is dominant. Yeah, and no, I agree with that. But I'm not putting I'm not I'm not putting Astros up at at, at Patriots level just yet. They've got a long, long way to go before they're that. And Dodgers can hit Zach Ranke. They can get Astros can, can get got. All right, so there's Jesus Sanchez to 199, and Alec Baum. That's a big uh, corner infielder prospect, a third base prospect for the Phillies. Paul Hutchins picked up the Phillies straight up. Might see this guy in a couple years. Right, yeah. Well, it's the Astros lineup that I'm that I'm most worried about, Gilo. I agree. With the Dodgers not so not so strong uh, not so strong bullpen is a big concern for me. All right, there's another Nick Schnell for the Rays that goes to Richard Z, and the last autograph spoiled it is a Wander Franco Blue Refractor Parallel. So that's two. The last two go to Victor Z. There you go. Or Richard Z. Thinking Victor Mesa's, Richard's, Z's, V's. Richard Zitterman with the Rays. That's a big hit. Yeah, G Lo says it's hard to see 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 the Astros losing the postseason. Yeah, if everyone's healthy, yeah, I mean, short of short of like a huge slump, Dodgers just need a little bit of luck. They just need a little bit of luck just to get back to the World Series. And if they face the Astros or even the Yankees, I need that just a little bit of postseason magic. Come on, Dodgers, let's finish. We don't want to be the Bills of baseball. All right, folks, there you go. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. That's it for Sterling for now. Um, maybe we'll try to bring some back, so keep an eye on the website. But plenty of baseball on the site, folks. So always check it out on JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.